Hello, my beautiful Virgos, and thank you so much for joining me for your weekly tarot forecast reading. I got some sage smoking up right here, so don't let that alarm you. Thank you so much for joining me. Guys, pre-eclipse season, we are wrapping up 2019. We just had that incredible 12-12 portal. So many of us are just processing out that last little bit. It was a little more intense for some people than others, but you know, all part of the game It's going to really help us to get that much more clear and focused and really motivated. Do you guys feel that? That just like sheer determination. If it's not excited motivation, it's just sheer. We're like, I'm going to do this. And I'm so excited. So I'm going to jump in and this is for a Virgo sun, moon or rising. So please be sure to check all three of your signs just to get a complete understanding of what the energetic forecast is for this week. For those of you who are joining me for the first time, thank you so, so much. If this resonates with you or serves you in some way, please like or subscribe below or share with somebody you believe is concerned. All right, let's get to it. Deep breaths, Virgos. Deep breaths. Let's see. And guidance, you have the energy of Virgos for this week. One more. There we go. All right. I'm just going to stick the sage down because it's going a little crazy. Trying to get all that juju. So for you guys, five of wands, queen of wands, three of wands, three of cups, nine of Raphael. I'm not sure you guys are seeing a theme here. This isn't a really incredible week for you, Virgos. Number one, this week, what you're being guided to do is stay out of any verbal drama, miscommunications, altercations of any kind. Again, it's the holiday season. Um, even if it's not something you're really crazy about celebrating, this is a time that we tend to be around other people. It's cold, unless you're in Australia, out on the beach. But this is a time we tend to be around family, co-workers, deadlines are due at work. There's just a lot of busyness. This week, Virgo, they're saying, look at anything that comes up, you could absolutely resolve. So don't even trip. But please do not be drawn into any kind of miscommunications, drama, even if it's around you. Just bow out and say nay. You have the Queen of Wands, which is my personal favorite. This week, it's all about, and you have it with the Three of Wands. Virgo, you guys know where are you going? You know what you want. This year, you're wrapping up, you know, like tying up any loose ends, and you are really stepping into 2020 with a full vision. You've done so much manifesting work, especially this last, I want to say the last quarter of 2019. You were a lot more confident for a go, a lot more creative, so much more into your creative and physical sexual energy and power. When I say sexual, it isn't just sex. It's about like that creative energy. You know that that oomph that comes through. And this is about going after what you want. So this week, do not get caught up on any of the little things that are going to slow you down. Keep your eye on the big picture. Everything's coming in. When you have the three of wands, that means all the manifesting work that you've done whether it's working hard at work physically on a project, doing vision boards, affirmations, uh, visualizations, anything, the manifesting work is complete. With the three of wands, you're letting you know all that's required of you is to keep your eye on the vision and stay open to receive. The three of wands in traditional tarot, it's all of these ships are coming in and the person is just sitting on, on the shore waiting for the ships that hold their blessings, their manifestation, all of their abundance. So when you have the three of wands, it's asking for a little bit of patience, knowing that all that wise planning and all that work you put into it is going to ensure that the outcomes are going to be more successful than you have have you have perceived. So maybe you only really wanted this and you're going to receive that. That's why they're like, don't get caught up in petty stuff. Your the finish line is right here. It's two weeks away. Don't get distracted. Don't get distracted. Anything you want right now, you can go after. So many successful new beginnings are going to be starting for you. Anything that you require, whether it's people, opportunities. Um, support in some way is going to be provided for you. This is all about big picture vision, going after the macro perspective. If, if people want to squabble here, fine. Don't get locked. It's like, everybody, the goal is over here. So whatever this is, wrap it up because we all we all got to get to the finish line together, okay? Now you have the three of cups as well. So it's a celebration this week. When you have it with the three of wands, like I said, the manifesting is already done. And I always tell this to all my clients, the law of receptivity is equally important as the law of manifestation because you can manifest. We do it all the time. 
whether we're conscious of it or not. But to be able to stay open to receive it is something else entirely. So this week, what's going to really help you to receive those opportunities, blessings, good news is have fun, loosen up, celebrate. There's going to be good news this week. Now, it could be for you. Maybe you got that promotion. Maybe you got that, you know, they accepted your your you know, your quote for that down payment on a house. Maybe you, some people might be getting engaged or even hearing about pregnancies this week. So congratulations to all those Virgos. And then you have the nine, the nine of cups. This is, that is like the dream come true card. All your hard work, Virgo, all your hard work in your own self-development, working on your own limitations and thoughts in, in the physical world, in your emotional world. This is you're reaping the benefits. You're reaping the benefits. All they're asking you is to stay out of drama and go have fun this week. Don't don't allow that last little bit. This kind of reminds me of like the shoelaces that are untied. Like don't trip up. Don't trip up. It's not even worth it. Everything's coming in. This is an incredible week. So much emotional happiness. You're really going to see Virgo this week. Do you ever have it when you're like around friends or family or, or just or outside and just all of a sudden everything is just perfect? You're just like... God, I feel so blessed right now. Like this is, I'm so happy right now. That, that's this week for you guys. So don't allow little malfunctions to rob you of that because that's nothing. Not to do with you, petty, black. Don't let it rob you of the success, the joy, the good news that's coming away and not to mention all the manifestations that are on its way. You can see it coming in. Patience and just have fun in the meantime. This is an awesome week, Virgos. I'm super, super happy for you. If you'd like a reading with me, a healing session, a coaching session, my link will be down below. Otherwise, have a beautiful holiday week, and I will see you guys next week for your next week's readings. Take care.